gentleman from Texas. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, um, I'm curious, and I too want to listen to our witnesses very carefully. I'm not sure I've been convinced of the proposition of too big to fail. Uh, and if I have, I haven't quite convinced myself that the cure is not worse than the illness. I'm not completely convinced we're not kicking the economic calamity can down the road for future generations uh, to deal. Now, back in the circumstances of last September and October, uh, I believe there was a fairly universal uh, thought uh, that Congress needed to act. Uh, clearly, we disagreed on the plan on how best to do that. Even as a fiscal conservative, I was willing to put the full faith and credit of the United States uh, on the line in what I perceived to be one of the first truly emergency situations I had seen since coming to Congress, although I hear the phrase every single day that I serve. Uh, but as I look closely at firms that may be designated supposedly as too big to fail, uh, the two that come to mind are, are certainly Fannie and Freddie. Again, these were creations not of a competitive market, uh, but a creations in a government laboratory uh, that never would have existed in a competitive market. And so I guess I'm convinced that government can create firms that some may view as too big to fail, that, consist, that can create systemic risk. But I'm not convinced that there aren't more systemic events than there are systemic firms. Uh, and I'm not sure, as this nation has followed down the line of bailout mania, uh, that we necessarily have a whole lot to show for it. Uh, as we wake up today, we know since January uh, that two and a half million more Americans have lost their jobs. Uh, we know that it, I believe it's 9.5 percent unemployment. We're looking at the highest unemployment uh, rate uh, in a quarter of a century. And I feel that bailout begets bailouts. Uh, once we got away, for example, on TARP being about financial stability, uh, bailing out Chrysler, bailing out GM, many of us said we're going to throw good money after bad. They're going to end up in Chapter 11 anyway. And roughly 80 billion taxpayer dollars later, guess what? They did. Uh, you know, how is that fair to Ford, who actually had to take on more debt to try to survive? And so, you know, to what extent is it even fair? To what extent is it even smart once you go down the road to start bailing out these firms? Uh, and so many of us fear, and I've introduced legislation that would end TARP, that TARP is now, regardless of its noble design back in September, October of last year, has morphed into a $700 billion revolving bailout slush fund uh, that frankly is doing more harm to the economy uh, than good. Now, I, I do want there to be uh, an opportunity for large financial firms that fall into financial distress uh, to be resolved, resolved quickly. That's why in the Republican financial uh, markets reform bill, uh, there is a provision uh, that would uh, create in the bankruptcy code a new bankruptcy chapter uh, to do just this. But, you know, you got to ask yourself the question, uh, should it be the policy of the federal government to necessarily reward bad business models at the expense of good business models? Uh, and by the way, I, apparently CIT was not necessarily on the administration's list of too big to fail, but when apparently Uncle Sam wouldn't give them a bailout, lo and behold, look what happens. The market comes through. Uh, isn't that interesting? You know, instead of CIT, maybe we should say, see, I told you so. Maybe you ought to give private investment an opportunity uh, to work. Again, bailout begets bailout. It keeps private investment on the sidelines. I'm convinced that it is hampering our economic growth. It's hampering our, our job creation. Uh, and I, I still look for the proof point uh, that there are firms that are too big to fail and that somehow by putting all this taxpayer liability exposure on the line, we're going to end up doing ourselves uh, more good than harm. Uh, I'm not convinced of it. I don't think the American people are convinced of it. And so what do we have? We have a na nation of bailout mania, trillions of dollars of debt. I think there's a better way. I yield back the balance of my time. The, uh